Welcome back, everyone. We are playing The Wolf Among Us. This is the finale of the game. I'm not sure if this is the finale of the Let's Play yet. Um, in the last episode, we got the Crooked Man after murdering Bloody Mary. Um, and although we were tempted, we did not murder the Crooked Man. We're bringing him in. But we're going to deal with that in just a second. Um, between episodes, we checked out the Book of Fables and we checked out Vivian's story. And I just want to read this to you here. Vivian was the first person to bear the curse of the Purple Ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping as he attempted to remove it, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbons not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. So she is the girl with the ribbon, and it's freaking depressing yeah i did read the story in middle school like that was in one of the books i read oh yeah yeah it's what was it i think it was the scary stories to tell in the dark series had her in it but like in that story her husband manages to pull the ribbon and her head rolls off oh god and that occurred to me as we were playing but i didn't think it would be like important enough to bring up, but apparently it was. <laughs> it was all of the importance. Oh god, Bloody Mary has oh, the glass sticking out of her face. Well, we've got to be close, because there's only three more Book of Fable things to unlock here, so I'm sure yeah. we're awfully close. So let's see how Snow reacts to us bringing in the Crooked Man, rather than murdering him like we kind of wanted to. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When does this thing happen? Are we <laughs> sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to He's back. <gasps> the Crooked Man. My God. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's right, Grendel. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the Crooked Man's Well, he certainly place, didn't make it easy. What happened with Mary? Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. But that we didn't lose control. <laughs> it's okay, Snow. Glad you made it back in one piece. Aww. My face it's is fucked up. Someone go find up. me some antiseptic. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. Oh, could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do me? this to people? You're a fucking crook. This? You should be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It you gave Georgie? the already. Georgie. I don't mean to interrupt Absolutely. you, Absolutely. But I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, He's you're dead. Bring relax. that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? He's is dead. He Everybody, relax. I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. I plan to abandon the charter entirely. Let her finish. 
and you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. Snow appreciates that. <laughs> <laughs> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Shut Eating up. And providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> I'm sorry, Snow. That was now, an adorable is there anything face. You would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. Let him speak. You everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on we with it. We promised then. you a chance to defend yourself. We have to have some and sort of order here. Of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this to let is him about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. Fuck no yeah, more Snow. Snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. I this would not have taken his cuffs off. What's he gonna do? Cripple I... at us? <laughs> you have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise. Oh, to stop. To Just mother. stop. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was Bullshit. his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit. That's not what Georgie said. Yeah. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Bullshit. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Nope. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? You're a dick. Questions. I was willing to cooperate. It was a trap. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes. It's true. Loyal to the Oh, end. stop. They do it because they want to protect me. As I protected them. Bullshit. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. They didn't want to protect you. Yeah, they didn't you. want to protect you. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. They see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as George oh, was. Oh, crap. We might be Lily? losing the crowd. She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street Oh, corners, shit. I was there to look out for you. We're losing the crowd. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon That was any Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. 
and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. Yes! But they asked me to come work for them. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had oh, her crap. way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Snow made a mistake. True? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. Sweetheart, shut your goddamn mouth. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. That is We've some made bullshit. Some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. We will like do better. better. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you. I didn't want to pick the other like options because it made me sound defensive. The man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and, and Lily away from exactly us. Way, Let's not forget that that's what this whole he thing took is about. Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yes! Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. Bullshit. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence uh, to the Georgie person. was working for you! Bigby got a confession, a confession that, that nobody heard. Shit. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... And history. Vivian's dead, what so we can't talking? get her to help us. Snow? What about your history? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... Maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need. course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Uh, where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? What? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think Bluebeard we all just did that? that go? You can't be serious. That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. I'm oh, sure. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Bullshit. George killed Faith and Lily. End of story. Bullshit. They want to escape. Why is Vivian's ribbon not being brought up? But they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know. The laws apply when we need them. Bluebeard, to. please. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone calm down. 
This isn't I the mean, reason. a certain here. level of privilege should be afforded to, to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Nerissa! And without the ribbon, she can talk I, freely. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's well? she doing here? She can speak freely because like Vivian's to, dead. I need to say something. We're kind of... Go ahead. Of, something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? No. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. She Quiet. wanted you all freed. To establish some Good idea. Here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I... Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This yes. fucker. Faith and Lily... Not That's yes, just... I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Let her have her say. And now I can finally say. Absolutely. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Nerissa, you heard him. You witnessed this? He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen oh, to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go what free What did you expect? This. Wait! What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you, enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't he stopped. Been I don't get so so we get rid of him. Him. Danger. Get him out of We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Vote. I hope you vote. suggesting yourself. You should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's Why right. not? Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about me? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. We'll vote. That makes sense to me. And I'll I worry about... Okay. Oh, Fine. good God. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. What do you okay. think? Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Wait until we have the call. Just do what you think is right. I want to fucking end him after all this. He's too... Yes, sure. Terrible for that. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Rip his head off. Throw him down the well. Just fucking get rid of him. Everyone, I'm not this one. Shit. Uh. 
didn't see that coming. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can see yeah, Now we already. lock him up. You're too good for the fucking well. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you That's can't be what serious. he's done. You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Oh my god. Boy, you heal awfully quickly there, Big B. Fly catcher. That's what I was expecting. Morning. Crooked man. Whatever works. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Work is work, I guess. <laughs> hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Hey, other buddies. Everyone's kind of smiling. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Hmm. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. That's a little suspicious. She's taking care of everyone's business, looks like. Yeah, but I'm hoping Bluebeard isn't just another crooked man, you know? I think he made an appearance in the comics. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. I'm sure all of these characters made appearances in the comics, right? Yeah, I don't. No, I've... I know Big Me and Snow White come back and a couple of others come back. Like Bluebeard. Um. Ah. Uh. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have, like, five minutes. Uh, carry me, for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! I forgot these. Ah. Oh. Thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Shit. How are you doing? Just go grab that, would you? How are you, uh, holding up? I know this isn't ideal for you. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Come on, Colin. Oh, uh, Colin had to go right. too? Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Aw. If you could bring it to Sure. Her. She was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the oh, best. Oh, the bug. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool. She will love it. When it. they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Aw. That's everybody. 
What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. <laughs> Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice You'll anymore. be safer there. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? Easy for all set. My drinking buddy's in the trunk there with you, asshole. I'm pretty sure he can tell, or not. Sorry, Colin. <laughs> it's even an option. Oh. Sorry, Colin. You got another one of those? Hell yeah, buddy. How about a smoke for the road? Give him the one pack. Last time. Thanks, Big B. Always a gentleman, aren't you, Big B? Eh, to the people who deserve it. I guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I'll try. I can't make any promises. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Saying goodbye. Nerissa. Nerissa. Why are you still wearing the ribbon? She probably can't take it off. Either that or she's wearing it for Vivian. Oh, that would make sense. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... I understand. Uh, yeah. Just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. What did you, you imagine do? imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Uh, we could just forget the whole thing. It's okay. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't it's want okay. anyone to die yeah. over a picture. We're trying to protect them. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. It's okay. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. He tried. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Touch her arm. Give her comfort. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Wait. The well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth was it what does it matter i know the crooked man did it so what if it wasn't the whole truth it was true enough uh, it was for the best yeah i guess i guess it worked out in the end i can't hold that against you i know he ordered their deaths i wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality especially after 
That night, <sighs> after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, Jesus. You? I walked her over here. So I would know And us. I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It won't happen anymore. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know you <laughs> might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. Yeah, hopefully the they'll see that in time. Each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. That look, statement makes no literal sense. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fabletown wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> I suppose I appreciate that. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Quick. Go after her. I'll see you around. Wolf. That was weird. Okay, so the majority of us left Georgie to die. Almost, A very slim majority. Yeah, every, most of us gave Crooked Man his trial. Less than half of us imprisoned him. Ah, oh, just about everybody accepted TJ's gift. That means 5.3% of the players are decks. And the minority said, I hope I've done some good here. Amazing. Oh, hey, look at this. Special stats. Beauty, you impressed her with your detective skills. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. Oh, this is just, I guess, running Everything down all our choices. Happens. Butcher, you offered him protection at the business office. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment and sent him to the farm. Crooked Man, you told him back to the wishing well and imprisoned him. Faith is deceased. We gave her money after the fight. Georgie, Georgie's deceased because we left him to die and we smashed up his plays and took money from his safe. We kicked down Greenleaf's door, but offered her a job. Grendel, we sat down with a drink at Lily's funeral. For Snow, we brought her along to the Trip Trap and promised to bring in the Crooked Man alive, which we did. 
We chose to wait for Tiny Tim and accepted TJ's gift. And for Toad, we slapped him during the interrogation, stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm, and we gave him some money. Although he had to go to the farm anyway. Kind of sad. Whew. That was a thing. That was that was one very long and interesting experience. And it does make me wonder how some of the other stuff would have shaken out. Like uh, if we had managed to save the prince in the first chapter, and yeah, uh, you know, if we had just murdered the crooked man right off the bat. If we'd pulled Nurse's ribbon. If we pulled Nurse's ribbon. I'm, w- Even I'm curious then at the what. Even the there too, if we pulled a ribbon. Yeah. I'm curious what happened at the end there when, you know, Bigby went after her. Like, it's still, the messages kept showing in the corner about, uh, you know, that Nerissa or Fable Town remembered our choices, but it's like, does that mean Telltale Games is going to try to make a sequel to this and it's going to still remember all those options? Or is that, that just red herrings? That would be interesting if they did. Or, yeah. Like, I'm almost afraid to uninstall the game because, like, remember the visual novel, um, Not only that, but that last line, I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah. Like, the, uh, that... Oh, maybe that applied to her. Like, maybe he chased after her because she was what he was looking for? I don't know. But I remember, The look on um, his face implies differently. The game, uh, Analog, a hate story, had a sequel called Hate Plus, and... Hate Plus read the saves that you made from Analog a Hate Story. I mean, it's a whole different developer, but it makes me, like, kind of paranoid about um, uninstalling this game. Like, you better tell- not uninstall it, because <laughs> I want to play it. <laughs> Telltale Games' other game, like their big famous one, The Walking Dead, um, it had five chapters as well of gameplay, but then there was stuff you could do afterwards. There was, like, DLC packs that were released, so... You know, I, I don't know what more there's going to be. I haven't seen if there's anything planned, but if there is more stuff coming down the pipe for The Wolf Among Us, uh, I will cover for the channel. And apparently, according to that screen, we can continue the story by buying the Fable comics, which I'm probably not going to do. But, you know, yeah. it's an option for those of you who I have more money. kind of want to, <laughs> man. We, we should set aside some money for that. So... I guess that's the end of the story, guys. Thanks for joining us and hanging on through this one, uh, this hell of a ride and this super episode. I was yeah. curious whether I was going to have to break it up or not, but kind of glad I didn't. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below if you wish. Oh, are and we over? Like, yeah, uh, we are way the hell over. We, we should cut it at a really, really episode. pivotal moment that'll piss everyone off. No. I thought Aww. about it. I thought about it, but I'm I'm nice. I am a nice let's player. I'm not a hypocritical douchebag like a certain fucking commenter called me the other day. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh yeah. Hi guy. This is the Akamura. I am Pyro Falcon's broadcast partner, which you didn't even fucking do the research on, you fucking tool bag. Pretty, <laughs> pretty sure since he was bored enough to get into a YouTube comment argument with you, he's not checking out any of these Oh other no, I ours. like, I pushed him into it. <laughs> I was real subtle with that. So, anyway his, guys, His problem for- is I hit his nail on the head a little too hard at the end. Oh well, fuck him. Um, no don't, he'll reproduce. <laughs> All right, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have any other visual novels that you want to see, let me know in the comments because I do like doing... Um, I mentioned before with, I think, the Cinders run that I always want to have one of these visual novels or interactive fictions going on in the channel. It's a very me thing. So if you see any others around Steam that you want, just let me know in the comments. We'll see what we can do. But for now, for The Wolf Among Us, I'm going to bid you goodbye. Thanks for watching like comment and subscribe i don't fucking know <laughs> i suck at these clothes do all that fun things